Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. I am with Charles from Microsoft. We're going to go through the home screen features and what this means not just to you, the user, but to developers because the home screen has got all sorts of third-party access to it. So Charles, have at it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. So this is a, the home screen. It looks very familiar to users who have used Windows Phone before, but it's actually completely open now. So what I've got here running is a Bing app that is basically pushing me the Bing image of the day every day. So this is just a, one example, but you as an app developer, you can actually write your app to take advantage of this functionality. If the user chooses to put your app as the home screen provider, you, you will actually be able to be, your brand can be here, the first thing that the user turns on the phone. Same thing with what has you know, previously been the, the calendar slot here. You can be configured to take that over. You can also have your brand here pushing notifications Yep. One other thing, not directly to the home screen, but uh, before we used to give you a medium-sized tile. Another new thing as a developer that you can do in A is actually build uh, a large tile. So banner example, tiles. Yep. Yeah, the banner tiles. So here's an example of CNN taking yep. advantage of that. Again, if you make it good enough, we're giving you more real estate on the home screen so that the user, again, your brand is just showing up in front and center. Sure. So great examples. And that's uh, where you guys are reaching out to developers exactly. to get them on, on board the writing with this and yeah exactly um, we think it's a great opportunity for developers how easy is it for a developer that's already been writing for windows phone 7 or 7.5 mango tango um yeah how, how hard is it for them to uh bring it make it make it optimized for windows phone 8 uh it's actually extremely simple so actually as a baseline, you do nothing. So all of your 7.5 apps will continue running on 8. Right. The only thing you need to do is if you decide to take it to take advantage of some of this new functionality, then you just have to add a, you know, a little extra log to basically say, um, I want to push the, the headlines to the home screen, for example. I want to register for that so that you know when the user goes in and selects um, the lock screen here, your, your app will actually show up in this list right. of apps that know how to do this. And actually, the user doesn't even have to do this. When you update your app, you can actually prompt the user and say, hey, right. we know how to update your home screen. Do you want CNN or whatever to be your home screen provider? And if the user says yes, you'll just be configured in the background. So, Great. Uh, really easy. Good stuff and good news for developers because the SDK is getting released to everyone tomorrow yep, at tomorrow Build right 12. Yep. Thank God. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. Yep, there we go. Absolutely. So this is PhoneArena.com. We're checking out uh, Windows Phone 8 here in San Francisco at the media event from Microsoft, Windows Phone 8. Check in with us at PhoneArena.com for more information about Windows Phone 8 and all this fancy hardware.